Okay, hey everybody. Uh, we're getting ready for mailbag. It's about five, uh, four or five minutes from now in theory, but I've got, uh, I decided at the last minute to do it here instead of in the other room. So I've got to move all the mail over still, which I haven't done. Uh, that's all I've got to do though. So uh, for the next five minutes or so, you can watch me move the mail over and then we'll sit down, we'll do mailbag with these kids. And uh, then we'll see what the rest of the day brings afterwards. All right, I'll be back. Kids, you're so zoomy. You see, it's 9.59, so we are going to start just a little bit late, but I mean, technically, moving the mail is mail bag, right? So, I don't know. All depends on how you look at it.
Okay, I'm just gonna put this over by the camera. Oh! Check the beast. Let's figure that out in a minute. That's all the mail. Give me one sec. She's very zoomy right now. So are all the kids. Good morning, everybody. Let's, uh, let's switch a couple cameras around first. You know, suggested I take a few of the beans out of this thing, and maybe, maybe that's not going to be the worst idea if I did at some point. Let's, uh, whew, all right, well, I had a, there's a lot of moving stuff around, so that was mailbag. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm going to turn off Scooty's microphone. I know she likes to talk a lot, but I will flip a view of her room on the screen. And uh, let's try this. All right, just for now, see what we think. All right, okay, hey, uh, how's this look on screen? Yeah, not too bad. Okay. So, um,. Good morning. It's Saturday. This is our regular mailbag, and uh, it looks like there's a lot to get through, but I think it's a little bit deceptive because I know some of these boxes are just uh, duplicates, and so I think when we get to that, we'll just open the one and see what's in it. Uh, I still have no idea, but uh, Lisa, I think it was Lisa Four Kittens told me that she sent a whole bunch of the same thing, uh, in, in uh, I do see a whole bunch of the same boxes, uh, et cetera, et cetera, so that's the plan. Um, uh, as for Kitten Academy news, so uh, I think this was a week that had a lot of big news in it, and I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to do any close-ups. I have just been uh, absolutely smashed uh, as far as work goes, like lots and lots of stuff to get done, uh, and it just I just haven't hit the right opportunity to do the close-up for you guys. Uh, every time I think I might, I think, you know what, this time it could be spent trying to get the kittens in the room upstairs, and then uh, everything will be happier anyway. So... You know, priorities, uh, maybe my priorities are a little bit misaligned, but I'm doing the best I can there. 
Uh, as for the big news that's happened, um, all of the kittens have approved adopters from Dawes, and the way I think it works <laughs> is uh, Michelle at Dawes processes the applications, and then she contacts the um, approved people and let them know that they're approved. So if you are approved, you probably know, uh, but then it's up to me to contact them and arrange the actual adoptions and all that kind of stuff because it happens here, not at Dawes, so that's entirely on us. Um, and I have not done that yet, but I promised, and I, I really mean to do it this week, so that's going to be something that I'm doing after Mailbag today, is uh, mailing all of the approved adopters. Uh, I do know, I saw that at least one of them, Michelle tries to tell me if they have, like, you know, Discord names, if, if they're on, if, if the approved adopters are people that are on Discord. I saw at least one of them is. Um, and if that person um, is and has confirmation from Michelle already that they are approved, then uh, you know there's, you don't have to wait for me <laughs> to start bragging or whatever on Discord. Um, but you know, just make sure that you know you really do have that approval from Michelle. Um, otherwise, uh, we'll do the usual thing where I reach out to everybody uh, and then I sort of announce uh, what the pairings are, and then as I get responses from the approved adopters. Uh, that you know, say it's okay to announce them, or they end up joining Discord if they weren't already there. We always send out an invite because you know we just we really like to have uh, everybody that is an approved adopter. It's not a requirement to join us on Discord uh, yet, <laughs> uh, but um, you know it, it means so much to us if the adopters do join us on Discord because that's at least uh, my favorite way to keep up with everybody and find out what's going on, and also to arrange the adoptions in the first place. Uh, but email will do if uh, if that's you know if that kind of social media just isn't for somebody so anyway they all get advice to discord and then as they show up uh you know i talk to them about whether they want to make it public knowledge and uh, we announce it on discord etc cetera, etc cetera. so there you go uh and then uh on our website uh we'll do graduation photos of these kids and <laughs> this is going to be the first time i think this has ever legitimately happened where we'll be publishing the uh, graduation photos and I think the introduction photos at the same time, that really says something about uh, how much we've been through in the last few months, I guess. Um, hopefully getting back on track. Uh, then the final thing, of course, um, uh, all um, three of the older cats, oh, and I say older reservedly because, uh, you know, I think River and Bumble and uh, Scotty are all pretty young, uh, and they definitely show that they are kittens as often as they can. I, I wouldn't put them over two years, um, you know, in my own estimation. Of course, it's a guess. If somebody said, "Oh yeah, I know that cat," you know, he's four. I'd be, she's four. I'd say, "All right, well, you know, then then she's four. But um, I don't think so. I think she's they're probably closer to one to two. So they're very practically kittens themselves, still, you know, very playful and fun. And I think you've started to see River coming out of her shell a little bit. Um, so. Uh, they still need approved adopters. That doesn't mean that they don't have any applicants, and it doesn't mean that somebody that has applied for them isn't going to be approved. Um, you know, these things take time. Um, but uh, so far, we haven't heard from Dawes that they do have any approved applications. So uh, that is what we're waiting for next. Uh, you can put him wherever you want, but if you put him in my office, uh, then you can take Scotty and her kids. If you wanted. Uh, I might do something else. Okay. Do whatever you want. My car. Oh, the faculty's put up. <clears throat> DJ just got back from taking Custard for uh, his yeah. laser appointment. Custard has a little bit of, uh, we think, it, you call it arthritis, right? That's what it is? Yeah. So he's got a little bit of arthritis. And, uh, you know, he's. Uh, no, just in the, the medicine cabinet. Okay, so can he go to the bedroom? Yeah. There's nobody in there right now. You could take Bumble in with him or anybody you wanted. All the faculty's in your office because River's out. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, oh, I was saying custard. So custard got a little bit of arthritis, and we've been treating him with Medicam or Meloxicam, and that's been highly effective. Uh, he is like a kitten again. It's wonderful. It really does the trick. Um, and, and we'll stick with it if that's what does the trick, but our vet just recently acquired a, a treatment, a therapy laser, 
uh, laser, which uh, is really cool. And uh, I've always been very skeptical of them, but she said uh, that she wanted to have a first victim, to a uh, patient to try it out on. And uh, she said, if we wanted to bring in custard, he'd make a great candidate because it's exactly the kind of thing that it's supposed to be best at treating. Um, and, you know, DJ and I are both, you know, really involved in observing his behavior. So we'll have, a, I think, a pretty good feeling for whether or not it had a real effect. Um, and uh, also she said, of course, that it's on the house because, uh, you know, she wants to sort of trial it. Uh, so uh, to do that, he's got to go in like every other day for a while. Uh, I think basically all this week. And then after that, I don't know what happens. Uh, but uh, we might try taking him off the meloxicam for just a little bit, see if the laser's, uh, you know, uh, cutting it, <laughs> no pun intended. And uh, if it isn't, of course, we'll put him right back on the, the medicam, meloxicam, uh, whatever the cat version is, uh, same thing. It's, uh, it's one thing for humans and the other thing for cats, but it, as far as I understand, they're, they're identical. So. <clears throat> so anyway, yeah, uh, he's feeling great, though. That's, that's the good news. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, uh, and then one more thing, uh, two more things real quick. Uh, one is that you may have noticed that all of the products are gone from our online Teespring store right now. We are working, actively working on getting that sort of rebooted and uh, launching the uh, KA Con merchandise for this year's KA convention, uh, which will be taking place in person and online from what I understand. But uh, we'll, I will be there in person. Uh, so that's going to be a fun experience this year. It's been a while since we had one where we actually got together. Um, and there's always a t-shirt for that. And so I think that's what we're going to launch the new store with. And then uh, finally, of course, you guys know I've been a little under the weather lately. I still am, uh, but I'm better every day and, and I'm really not feeling it very much anymore. Uh, so it's good. Okay. Now let's do some mailbag. I think there's some letters buried under here that we can start with. We'll just uh, start right here with this one, I think. We'll get this open. Let's see what we got. Oh, uh, there was one other thing I wanted to check, um, which I should do right now before I forget, because I think we're going to have a time limit on today's mailbag. And that time limit is going to be because I really need to go to the post office and pick up today's mailbag mail, which I didn't get a chance to do before mailbag, so this is all last week's mailbag. And... Uh, um, so if you sent something that would have arrived for this week's mailbag and you're just watching for that, you don't have to keep watching. <laughs> but uh, if you sent something that, that we should have done last week and didn't get to, uh, now's your time. So uh, that's the deal. And I just wanted to make sure I knew what time the post office closed. So uh, let's find out because they, they can all be a little different. And uh, I'd hate to... Okay, all right, so the close at noon, um, that means uh, I really got to wrap up the mailbag uh, quickly, so we're going <laughs> to we're gonna try to get through this. Uh, we'll just try to be speedy. I think, I think if we really go fast and I say thank you very much to everybody and maybe, um, uh, okay, to read card on mailbag, ignore this protective cover sheet. Oh, no, too late. Uh, all right, this is really pretty, though. It's a rhinestone unicorn uh, sitting down. Beautiful. And inside it says, To Mr. A and Dr. DJ, may the rainbow unicorn bring you good health and good wishes. From M. Hobbit. P.S. When I saw this card, I knew I had to send it to the man who loves rainbows and unicorns with lots of bling. Yes, it is perfect. I do love it. And I love the, I do love the rainbows and unicorn motif. As you well know, I've got lots of cat blankets for that stuff. And the only reason they haven't been out lately is we've been more focused on the space theme. Uh, but, uh, but that's beautiful. Thank you so much. It's very, very pretty. It's so shiny. Uh, we'll have to put that someplace, uh, uh, special where I can keep an eye on it. Okay. Uh, this, let's see here for mailbag with asterisks. Let's see what that's all about. Hi, what are you doing all the way up there? Ooh. Can be read on air. Hello, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, cats and kittens. I did some Googling on cinnamon colored cats, printed these out for you, thought you would enjoy reading and seeing these pictures. They didn't print out as well as I'd hoped, but there's enough to get the gist of the cinnamon color. There can also be chocolate colorings in cats. P.S. I heard you mention that your mother said they are cinnamon, so that inspired me to send these to you. Mothers are always right. All the best from Cat Lover. Thank you for all you do. The KA YouTube channel is looking spectacular, and the kittens are too, and mom cats. Oh, thank you very much. So you say, um, 
Let's just see. The light brown gene which produces cinnamon is recessive, so both parents must be cinnamon or cinnamon carriers to produce cinnamon kitties. Fawn is the dilute of cinnamon, and to produce fawns, uh, both parents must carry cinnamon and dilute genes. Oh, very interesting. And then there's a lineage given for the history of the cinnamon cat gene. Uh, very interesting. So I guess uh, the first time that it really showed up and was specifically bred was in the 1960s. Now, uh, that's fascinating, but my, uh, my further understanding... Oh, this is an adorable picture that does look a lot... I mean, the coloring in the, on, on the printout is exactly like um, Little Bassett. And uh, so are so, some of these others. The colors is, are exactly right. So I guess my mom must be right and then chocolate appears to be darker uh here you can see a, a difference right here on this so this would be i guess a cinnamon and a chocolate um and this guy looks very cinnamon to me so uh that is really really awesome thank you for this information i can't wait to take a look through it and the thing i was going to say and i don't know if this is in the papers that you sent anywhere um oh the earliest record is within within the Abys abyssinian breed um, since the turn of the 20th century. Okay, not fully developed until the 1960s. Okay, and that was uh, um, where they uh, started, I guess, breeding for that specifically. Interesting, but as you know, uh, you know, all the cats and kittens that come to uh, Kitten Academy are uh, rescues. You know, they all come to us through animal shelters and um, obviously, you know, fixed before they are uh, adopted out and that kind of thing. Uh, and the point being that it's it's highly unlikely, and, and I think if you just look at their mom, uh, you will know that she um, probably has not been bred for the, the cinnamon gene specifically. Now, she does have a lot of brown in her coat, which I don't know what that means, if that's what contributes it. Uh, but the thing I was going to say is that it was also my understanding that, uh, while not exactly a common mutation, it is it is something that spontaneously appears in, uh, uh, you know, fairly often, too. Um, so it may just be the case that the kittens or their mom or their dad uh, got lucky in, in sort of mutating that gene apart from any previous breeding, uh, which I don't, I don't know how likely any of that is or if it's even true. You know, uh, we're just going to carry on with mailbag now, but thank you so much for that information. I'm really excited to take a look uh, through it. Uh, okay, next we find my letter opener or don't. Oh, I put it up here. Smart. Now all the kittens in the have to go other places except one. Uh, little Villa is up at the top. By the way, Villa gets her sutures out today. I was just waiting for DJ to help me with it because she's very, um, uh, you know, uh, wiggly. <laughs> so I don't think I can do it myself. And I see, ooh, we have some local papers. You guys know I love to read local papers, especially the ads. And this is beautiful. It looks like the Ohio... The Beacon from Ohio, and we've got these uh, this wonderful bald eagle photography right on the front. Ooh, and the burning snowman. Wow, there's some exciting stuff going on there. Uh, interesting about the eagles, uh, because um, I know that there's a big eagle population not too far from here, or maybe even around here, uh, that I've been meaning to find time to go photograph. Uh, the scooters keep saying that, that they, uh, uh, in their neighborhood, there's a lot of those. And then, of course, as far as uh, birds of prey go, uh, we've got a couple of the, um, is it the uh, the red-tailed hawk, the the one that makes the noise that you you know you think of as being an eagle but isn't. Uh, we've got a couple of those that uh, are in our neighborhood all the time, and I see them actually just like circling our house and the the end of the road that we live on here constantly, and they're beautiful. Uh, but never when I have a camera in my hand, uh, but but all the time. So I know they just they live right here. Really fun stuff. Um, uh, oh, I didn't even read your note though. It's over here. There we go. I set it aside and then I didn't get to it. Okay to read during mailbag or as you see fit. Well, here we go. Aw, this is our little kittens in buckets and they are all saying thank you. <laughs> it's very cute. So this is a version of the grand prize game uh, that would have been a lot of fun. And it says, just wanted to send a few copies of our local weekly newspapers a thanks for all you do for cats, kittens, and viewers. We appreciate and see all your hard work and dedication from H and N. P.S. Be sure to look for Wiley Walleye hiding in the newspaper ads. Whoa. 
that takes it to the next level because newspaper ads are always my favorite, but a newspaper that makes the ads fun that way, the advertisers have really got to appreciate that because then people are looking at the ads. That's just too smart, and I will. Now, see, it's even going to work on me. Uh, that's going to be super fun. Thank you so much, H and N. Uh, I really appreciate that. As you know, I love local papers and especially the ads because they're just so, um, I don't know, sort of charmingly local, <laughs> usually. Uh, and the, the low production values, and it's sort of my, I guess it's my version of what DJ likes about bad movies like Birdemic uh, or, uh, or The Room or all those you know, famously bad movies that she loves to watch. Here we have some real fur mice uh, from Cat Rages. These are really fun stuff. And they say, Mr. A, please give one, each, uh, one to each townie and Mama River. I thought I heard some hissing behind me, but I don't see any reason for it. Okay, please give one each, one to each townie in Mama River. Thanks from Tabby GCL. Aw, Tabby GCL. Uh, all right, well, we will put these down for River and the townies, and uh, I know that they like these things quite a bit. Uh, I'm just going to write uh, River and on the front so that I don't forget when we uh, start putting stuff together for the endowments. Uh, let's say River... Plus, okay, I hope that makes sense to me later. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Tabby, uh, ginger cat lover. I, I appreciate that, and so will River and her kids. Uh, let's keep this moving. It's a challenge to see whether we can get through everything before I have to go and pick up more. And as for when we'll do the more, um, I'm just going to say I don't know yet because I had plans to do this week's mailbag sort of offline and then watch it with everybody, which is a great plan. It's a really good plan uh, and didn't even have time to make that happen. But maybe we can do that soon because I really do think that's going to be a fun way to do mailbag in the future. Um, but we'll see. So these are the new cat tracks that we're really enjoying and the cats are really enjoying. And this says, ball tracks for townies and rivers endowments, six out of six, um, from Lisa Four Kittens. Aw, well, thank you, uh, Lisa Four Kittens. Uh, townie and rivers endowments, these are so fun. And uh, you can put them together any way you want. These guys have really enjoyed them. So I don't know if that's the thing that's going to be in those boxes that I mentioned, though. So we'll find out when we get to them separately. But for now, uh, we'll keep going. Lisa Four Kittens, thank you so much. Ooh, uh, this, I don't know who's going to recognize the return address as having been from uh, Dr. Pussums, the, uh, the catnip that we really like now and that the cats really like. It's just as good as the Yao catnip, uh, so those are both fine choices. Uh, but it seems like the Dr. Pussums tends to keep their attention a little longer. So that's a, a nice bonus to have. Oh, oh this is the, uh, the catnip of the month club for March, that's right. Uh, and these are little red uh, catnip bags that I know that the kittens will love. Uh, that's so cool. Thank you very much. Um, oh gosh, I don't remember now who it was that signed us up for that. Um, but thank you again um, for having done that. Okay, well, let's see. What's this one right here? I got another one right here. Uh, this is from Dragon Lady 71 Hello to uh, Dragon Lady and to any of the uh, Dragon Lady people that are watching. As you know, uh, Dragon Lady 71 is a group of people who uh, were former fosters who now sort of like to support their fostering people. Uh, thank you for that. This says, this is a new wand type. Both wands are for KA use. Now that's funny because I... I'm sure I just bought these same new wands for myself, seeing it was a new wand type that I wanted to try out. That is so funny. Um, so these might be really good for endowments, or maybe I'll keep yours and endow the ones I bought. These are the exact same ones. Um, and the, the thing that's interesting about them, I'll tell you, is uh, we like, uh, we tend to like the, the ones that we've been recommending are the ones that are sort of fiberglass or whatever they are, and they just, they bend really well they never break and we like those a lot because before that uh, the ones that you would get would either just be a plain stick of plastic we still get a lot of those and they're not bad or the ones like the jackson galaxy ones which are basically old aluminum or steel whatever it is they're old metal radio antennas uh, that are collapsible radio antennas uh, which is a great idea in theory but they break instantly i mean instantly um so 
uh, because you can't put any any pressure on them this way like the cats do when they grab the toy so uh, they just fall apart but this is the same idea as that now again it's a collapsible metal wand just like the the jackson galaxy ones but it is uh, they say steel and also uh, it's much thicker than the jackson galaxy ones and the thing i do like about it immediately is that it can become uh, it's so small you can fit this in your pocket really easily where the fiberglass ones that we like don't collapse as much they're only like three segments and so they're, they're very unwieldy even when they are collapsed um, so if this works it would be fantastic um, but it, it will remain to be seen i haven't tried out the ones that, that i bought for ourselves yet but when i saw these online i was the same as you must have been i was like oh well we're gonna have to try that then and see how it is uh, the other thing, of course, is the grip on this is this nice foam that has this uh, this ergonomic texture, which is fun and looks cool. I like fun and looks cool. And so there's two wands in here, plus a little bag of toys to go on the wands. It's a good value if they don't get instantly destroyed the first time that a cat pulls on it, you know. Uh, so we'll see. It would be nice if it did work because, again, it's much easier to carry this around with you all day. Put it in your pocket and even has a little lanyard so you can, you know... Oh, which fell out. <laughs> uh, okay. So, yeah, uh, thank you so much, Dragon Lady. I'm glad that you sent these. Now uh, we'll see if they work out for us. That is going to be super fun to try. All right, I'm just going to put it aside for the moment. Hi, are you helping? Are you helping make sure that unicorn is uh, a little personalized? Yeah, look at you. Look at you. She's got to be so excited to get out of that seat. Oof. So, uh, Dragon Lady, thank you so much. That is going to be... Um, I, I'm still excited to try it out. Yes. Uh, I still haven't tried ours out. There's uh, some assembly required, and there's a, weird little, there's a weird little bit at the end. I'm not entirely sure how I'm intended to put the uh, string on it. I mean, I just tie it on the end, I would think, but there's a, there's a weird little triangle piece that's separate, and I think there must be some fancy way to use that to secure things. I'll have to figure it out in due time you know all right here is the oh oh this is a diff yet another design of the uh what was previously the puffer fish toy but this is a much fancier one hmm. we'll have to take a quick look at this together since we haven't seen this particular version before but where's the note new toys today oh new toys are so fun this one says windmill toy for the puppies room the suction cup might work on the floor from lisa for kittens well lisa for kittens uh don't worry the new puppies room and the old puppies room for that matter has you know a glass door which would be the perfect place for something like this or uh, i'm also planning on taking the bench that goes under the window in the annex right now and moving it to the window in their new room which is an identical window and it would be perfect for that because as you know they can get up there we put it in the window in their old room if we wanted i'm really hoping to have the new room done today though we're very close uh okay so it is again a suction cup that goes on the window and spins around like a fidget spinner but uh this one has uh these weird little balls that are held in these uh, weird little grips. Oh, and there's cats and stars and planets on it, so it matches the right theme even. That's extra cool. And then for some reason, there's a feather and some other stuff in here. Oh, uh, yes, I saw this on the, the picture. Yes, there's a, there's a stick and feather that go on the end. Two of them, there's two options. You can put a just a plain old ball on the end, which matches exactly, I think, the balls on the toy that is currently in their room. So that comes together pretty nicely, doesn't it? Get, get, oh, there we go. Just like that. Uh, or the identical thing, but with a feather on it. Uh, as you can see, the feather goes on the end. You can just swap that out. So uh, this is a much fancier version of the little puffer fish spinner toy. And it will be interesting to see uh, if they like it or not. I think they will. Maybe we can let these kids take a preview. Now, I don't think we can stick it to our wood floor because our wood floor is not that well sealed. Um, but uh, in theory, if you had one that was done really well, like a, like your gymnasium, then that would do. Now, th this fell out of there too, or this fall out? This must have fallen out of the other one because there's no way to put this in there. Oh, ah, this one comes with uh, sticky tape though, so you can stick it to anything too. That's double-sided uh, foam sticky stuff. Uh, as for this feather, I, this must have come from the other toy because it doesn't make any sense with this one. There's just no thing you could do with it, but if, these kids certainly want it. You kids just want to take this thing and go? I don't mind. Here, well, here. That's fine if you want to. We have so many feathers. Okay. 
Well, for now, I'm just going to set this aside, uh, and then we'll try to... Yes, I know you want this one. No, you can't have this one. Oh, all right. All right, here, let's just do this. Why don't you play with that for a minute and... Uh, Not exactly how it's meant to be used, but you know, yeah, make do. So, Meow Planet, Meow Planet windmill shaped cat toy. Interesting. And it's, you know, it's the same sort of packaging and everything. It's, it's obviously the same idea, but slightly different design uh, with just a little more going on. And maybe everybody will end up liking it even more. Of course, the old pufferfish version has been uh, a lot of fun for some classes, and then other classes just ignore it. Uh, that's, that's what you get with a lot of cat toys, uh, you know. Hit or miss. Okay, let's see. Well, this has things. It has toy many, whatever that means. Explore your own animal world. Hmm. All right, well, we'll get to that. Let's see if there's a note. Don't take the cellophane, kids. Also, a box and a bag. Oh, a box and a bag and a bag. <clears throat> we must go deeper. Uh... I wanted to send some gifts for the kittens faculty, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, for my birthday. Some cute kitten figurines for the both of you to share, and my mom, uh, my cat's favorite toy for the kittens, mom, cats, and faculty. Uh, love from Kiki. Aw, Kiki, thank you so much. Thank you, and, uh, and by the way, happy birthday to you. I'm probably about a week late now, um, but happy birthday nonetheless. So, gifts for the kittens faculty, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Uh, kitten figurines and your cat's favorite toy. All right, let's see. So, I'm assuming you pronounce it Kiki, uh, and if you don't, I apologize. I pronounce it Kiki, just so you know. If you want to start telling your friends, you know, be like, well, you know, I used to call myself KK, but uh, now. <clears throat> Oh, oh, good. These are those little fuzzy mice. These things are just always a big hit. And uh, I'll tell you, uh, in particular, um, this is one of the toys that um, uh, Scotty really likes to play fetch with and will bring back over and over and over. And uh, Loganberry has a history of it, although lately he prefers the ones without the fur. Um, so that's a great, great choice. Your cat has excellent taste, and so do you. So we'll put that over here, and then this must be, uh, this is exactly the kind of bag I'm talking about where it has the zip at the top, but it also you have to tear it open to get to the zip. Um, there we go. <clears throat> I say I'm talking about, uh, you know, I was talking about, oh my gosh! It is a whole bag of little tiny cat toys, little tiny plastic cats. And they're all different and really beautiful. This is so cool. This is not what I expected to be in the bag. Look at that. They're all little different uh, cats. And they, they are actually different designs and different colors and different sizes. Although they all have very similar poses. So I think we could line them all up like a cat gang because they're all just in the middle of walking. But some have their tails up, looking left or right. Um, that is, oh, and one sitting, just one sitting. All the rest are walking. So I guess this guy, he knows what's up. Wow, uh, that is gonna be way too fun. And uh, maybe since uh, if DJ is not watching Mailbag, she doesn't know we got these, I'll just line them all up in her room when she's not looking and then she'll come back and be like, whoa, that's gonna be way too fun. Kiki, thank you very much. Uh, that, is, that is a blast. All right, let me put these in here. They're very cute. And you know, DJ loves like little things. These are perfect for that. Put it right over there. Mwah. Very cute. <clears throat> Do I need to put the other camera on? Let me take a quick look. So I feel like I'm piling everything right in front of this camera without thinking about it. And pretty soon it will be blocked off. So let's have a peek. I guess we're okay for now, right? Yeah, we're just gonna keep keep rolling. Oh man, that's a heavy box. All right, from Chewy. This says Dragon Lady. Okay, uh, that goes with this, by the way. Put those together. Uh, 
uh, Dragon Lady has sent us Fancy Feast Classic Pate. That's why this is so heavy. It is uh, three cases of the Classic Pate. Thank you so much. And as you know, uh, Fancy Feast Classic Pate chicken uh, specifically uh, is, the, uh, is the thing that we feed all the cats here all the time, including all the kittens uh, right from the start. Uh, sometimes, you know, we mix it up a little bit if somebody has some special needs or if they're just not jumping into the Fancy Feast very well. Um, but uh, they, they do all end up on it. And it's because, uh, as I've said a million times, it's just a, it's a lower cost, uh, really good food. We use chicken because uh, at some point we decided that, that we didn't like the smell of the fish or something. No, you know, DJ and I can't agree now on why we originally started just sticking with the chicken. And uh, I have no idea. It's lost to history. Um, but uh, that is the case that, that we just do the chicken around here. Uh, so that is perfect. I can't believe how much we go through now that we have, you know, uh, two classes of older kittens uh, and they're very hungry moms. Uh, we're going through a lot of it, so that's much appreciated. A uh, very practical thing that will absolutely get used up. Thank you so much, Dragon Lady. Uh, I was saying not only is it inexpensive food, because that's that alone is not a good enough reason. Uh, I was going to say it's also grain free um, and uh, like actually grain free, not like a lot of these things that are. Uh, and low carb, I should say, grain free, low carb. Uh, not like a lot of these things that are uh, grain free and then throw in stuff like potatoes or flax seed, and you're like, are you though? Uh, you know, maybe, maybe technically, but not really. Um, anyway, because uh, I don't know why you'd be so concerned about being grain free and then be okay with like flax seed or potatoes or these carbs or you know that stuff. Like, then why does grain free even matter to you? I don't know. Uh, anyway, there we go. Uh, it is. It's good stuff. Um, all right. Wow. This is like a whole stack of notes. Let's see here. Wow. A very big stack of notes. Okay. Some of them are the same though, I, I think. Whew. Hang on. Wow. Oh boy, they're not even exactly the same notes. Okay, well, let's lay out the notes then. Let's see. That way we can look at them while we're trying to get into uh, whatever is in here. Okay. So, uh, let's see what is in here, and then we can try to make sense of what these notes say. We have a whole bunch of fluffy balls, 160, 160 fluffy balls and dow and deploy as you see fit. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, yes, thank you so much. Those are fun, uh, especially for the, so the smaller kittens. They make the good, uh, you know, kitten's first ball uh, kind of a toy. So that's fun. Oh, these, I really like these. Uh, you set some of these before and they've been hanging around the academy. These are the... The real uh, soft pith balls that uh, have different sounds in each one. One is, sounds like a frog, one sounds like a cricket, and one sounds like a bird. It's fun to have that variety, and they're different from the regular uh, bird squeakers that you get too. They sound like the real thing. Uh, so I've really been enjoying these around the academy, and you've sent some more of these for three count animal sound balls, townie and river endowments. Please split up, uh, split up one ball each. Uh, for uh, townies and rivers endowments. That's perfect. And this is the pile of stuff that's going to the townies and rivers endowments. So I'll put those over there. It uh, could be fun to decide which kitten gets which sound. Uh, let's see. Now this is, you say blue mice. Oh, these are the big, <clears throat> excuse me, the big blue mice, like the one that they've had upstairs in River's room. Yes, they are. Uh, they really look like something from uh, Disney, except not, you know, obviously not the big Disney mouse, but something like from a from a cartoon or a Disney cartoon or something, don't they? Like an old one, maybe. Uh, anyway, uh, Blue Mice, one for Bumble, one for Faculty, uh, Townie and River Endowments, Townie and River Endowments, uh, Townie and River Endowments. So you sent them for Bumble, Faculty, and Townie and River Endowments, I see. So that's the blue mice. So we'll set one aside for um, Bumble. We'll make sure she gets it. Uh, and the rest are for Townie and River Endowments right here. Put that right back there. Thank you. 
uh, for those. They're, those also, not only do they have, but they've got like a little bell on the collar, which that makes it fun, but they've also got a pocket in their belly that you can stuff with catnip or anything else, I guess, that's small enough, why not? So those are a big, uh, those are those are fun big mice. Okay, this is, oh, a self-grooming cat arch. Okay, and you say the cat arch, you have one for Towny and River Endowments, one each. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, I, if I can open them, we'll just take a quick look. But I think these are the, the like an arch that has the bristles on it that cats can sort of uh, rub, walk through and groom themselves, which could end up being important for such a floofy class. Yes, it's exactly what it is. We have a base, we have an arch. Uh, and, oh, and that's nice, too. I bet that they would like this just as a little scratching pad or a thing to lay on. Look at that. Easy to assemble. Got a little carpet on the bottom. That's nice. Uh, I've seen a few of these. This is simple and nice, and uh, I might need to outgas a little bit. <laughs> uh, a little bit of the manufacturing smell hanging around on that one. Uh, okay, so you said that is for townies and river endowments. Smart, because they are all pretty floofy kitties, uh, especially river. So I think her kids are all going to end up looking more or less like her, though. Uh, some of you might be looking at, at her kittens and going, are, are they actually long-haired cats like she clearly is? Uh, and obviously, I don't, I don't know the answer to that uh, for sure, but I can tell you that we've had lots of cats come through the academy that floofed out like crazy after they left. Um, so, you know, sometimes it's a little bit of an age thing. They got to grow into it. And uh, that's fully what I expect here. So I'm just going to start putting River and County stuff piled in here. We might need an even bigger box before we're done. But we got to keep this rolling if I want to get to the post office on time and also get through this mailbag uh, as much as we can uh, instead of putting everybody off again, which I hate to do. So... This one is, oh, but thank you, Lisa, for kittens. I feel like, did we get animal sound balls, blue mice, blue mice, fluffy balls, blue mice, blue mice, cat arch? Okay, no, I think that's, I mean, we may not have gotten all of them. Uh, there might be more in another box, but that is, uh, that is everything that was on the notes, at least, so we have a sample. Let's see. Now, this one says dragon lady on it. Boy, they are having fun with that uh, feather, aren't you? Can I have it? Oh, oh, I did. I do have it. Okay, now I do have it. Hi. Uh, we gave them new collars yesterday, by the way, because they were all um, uh, outgrowing their tiny, tiny kitten collars. And it's funny because we went from having the tiny, tiny kitten collars on the biggest setting, and now we have the, the small. These are still kitten collars that are smaller than any collars you can buy at the store. And they're on the smallest setting now and, uh, and barely fits. A couple of them are just a tiny bit too big, but not enough to worry about. So uh, it's funny how they sell, they sell collars in the store that are kitten collars, but you got to remember that they're talking, when they, when they say those are kitten collars, they would fit a kitten that was maybe six months, if you're lucky. Uh, they just, they don't, uh, last time I checked anyway, it's been a while, have, they didn't make any that actually fit kittens. <laughs> so uh, so these are the ones that uh, the underscore kitten sent to us a while back and we've still been using because uh, she sent like a hundred of them or more um, and they work great. They're exactly the right size for kittens as they're graduating and then uh, we make them a little smaller for them when we start. Uh, okay, this looks like, uh, I said this is from Dragon Lady and these are bags, a uh, cat toy bundle with a tunnel. This is a fancy bundle with a tunnel and it's got a wand and these kickers and all the toys. And there are uh, one, two, three, four of them in this box. Uh, since they're from Chewy, though, and Chewy doesn't let you leave a note, there's not a note here, but we do know Dragon Lady. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, we can always talk to you on Discord. And as usual, uh, I think these will make excellent endowments for them. It's a nice starter pack that uh, would be great for kittens that are just going to their new home. So that's a, that's a wonderful thing to send. Thank you very much. <laughs> so much zooming going on. Right. Uh, this is, let's see, it's got these cute little stickers on it. Pets are worth saving. Aw, oh, fall in love with rescue. Those are cute stickers. Oh, wow, this looks uh, kind of uh, like buttons. Kind of. Kind of got the same round face and three colors. A little, a little bit rounder, though. So cute. All right, let's see. Where is my knife? There it is. Oh, good.
got a note right here at the top. Okay to read out loud. Okay. Uh, the front is a kitten sleeping on a pile of books uh, and a knocked over cup of coffee in front of it and little coffee paw prints. Uh, that's a cute scene. And it says, hi, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and all the cats and kittens at Kitten Academy. It's the B&B &B sisters. We recently were talking about the naming of the kitten classes at Kitten Academy and how creative they are. If it was up to us, uh, unfortunately, we are not as creative as Dr. DJ. The poor kittens would probably end up really quickly with Star Trek board designations. Can you imagine kitten third of five, mother cat unit one? Ha ha. Uh, fun fact, uh, our first uh, kittens born at the Kitten Academy, um, we, we had a surprise uh, final kitten uh, number, the seventh kitten born, of course. Uh, we named it seven. So uh, we've been there. It, it took a little while, I think, for us to get rolling with that. Uh, uh, anyway, the blankets and toys enclosed are to be used as you see fit. Thank you both for taking the cat moms and their kittens into your home, along with all of us watching online from Beatrice and Bernadette, the B&B &B sisters. Thank you so much for the cute card. And uh, here you have sent a lovely soft blanket with uh, kittens on it. Oh, that's cute. That's very cute. <laughs> Kittens wearing little uh, uh, bows. Adorable. Oh, very, very soft. Wow. All right, let's put that right there for a minute and see if anybody decides to play on it while we're doing this. Or lay on it. Or both. Here we have some more Fancy Feast uh, Classic Pate Chicken. Perfect. I'm just going to slide that right over there with the others and then it will all go right around the corner into the kitchen for dinner time. There we go, two more of those. Thank you, B&B sisters. Perfect. You sent a uh, Best Toys Catnip Kickers. Oh, these are made up like little animals. They've got an elephant and a crocodile. Uh, I think that's some kind of bear, uh, hamster, and a uh, panda bear. Wow, very cute. Uh, these look like, well, it says Dora Kitten Catnip Toys. Hmm, I think we're going to have to take a look inside to see what these are. Oh, I see. That's why. It's a bag in a bag. And, ooh, oh, look at that. These are birds, and they're beautiful. Look at this cardinal. That's a beautiful little cardinal. Here we have a parakeet, and they got little crinkly uh, wings. Wow. Uh, here we have another, uh, I guess this would be a parakeet or a little tiny parrot. And then this one, uh, I should know what this is, but I can't, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe a J of some kind? Uh, something, I should probably know. Uh, very cute, yeah. These are like those little green uh, parrots that, that like escaped in Chicago and now are, live in uh, that park. Uh, is it Hyde Park they're in, I think? Sounds right to me for some reason. Uh, very, very cute. Those, those are nice, those are well, they're cool, they're detailed, and they're crinkly, and the cats are gonna love them. Uh, those are really fun. I, for now, I'm gonna put them right over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy having those deployed around. Uh, maybe we could put them out in the cat run, except they'd just get rained on and ruined right away. That wouldn't be fun, but it would be funny to have them in the cat run so the cat, kittens can play with them while they're watching the actual birds. Uh, and then we have another blanket. This one has little kittens drinking milk on it. In fact, this one's using a straw, uh, very polite. Um, so kittens sleeping and milk and drinking milk. Uh, that is adorable. So uh, thank you so much, b, b This is gonna be very fun for everybody. Let's see, I'm just gonna oops, slide these over here with the uh, pile of stuff that's either for us or as we see fit. And then we will get that all deployed <clears throat> in due time. Keep this moving. It's 11. Uh, all right. This is from Busy Cat. So I think we know what to expect in here. Let's find out. Oh! Got a little extra tape on the inside. Wow, how did you do that? Did I open this upside down? Somehow there's tape, uh, you know, up on the inside. Uh, interesting. Ooh, 
Oh, wow, you've gotten fancy with your blanket textures. Uh, so this is uh, blankets from you, but uh, Pomeranian's blanket is black, but it has these uh, little n uh, nubby bits all over it. It's, it's textured. I don't know, does the camera pick up the fact that this is textured like that? It's so soft, too. And black, 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 so dark black. Wow, it's like Vanta black. I could almost fall into it. Uh, so that's for Pomeranian, obviously, and uh, just like Pomeranian, very, very black. Oh, I see. Uh, we've used that on all of them. This Pomeranian has it on both sides, but this one is black and white. Or that's uh, kind of is that white? I don't know. The black is so black, I can't even tell anymore. Um, wow, that's beautiful. This one says Beagle. Okay, that makes sense because uh, Beagle's a little uh, black and white tuxie. I see what you did there. And so, I uh, yep, we could have guessed what comes next. We have Pug that is all brown. Uh, with the same material though, this is this is so soft and those little things are just, I could sit here and just touch this all day. Those little things feel so uh, fun. Wow. Uh, this one is St. Bernard. And uh, I'm sure identical to Pugs, just like St. Bernard himself is. So uh, here we have, I'm guessing another black and white one. So we know this one has to be for Jack. And indeed it is for Jack Russell. Uh, the draft, I see you've got a little light on the draft, which is probably good overall, um, but it is still a pleasant smell. And um, let's see, I'm running out of lap space because we've still got a couple more. Uh, here we have a brown and white one. So that's gotta be for Bassett. Yes, indeed, Bassett. Oh, Pomeranian's tag fell off. All right, well, we'll get that in the right spot. And then at the very bottom, here we have one with the, oh, the KA material. How cool is that? with our logo on it. Uh, and that one is for Scotty. That is just so cute. Uh, Busy Cat, thank you so much for all of these. These are spectacular. And I really like this new uh, soft material that you're using too. I hope the kittens like it. I don't know what you call those little bumps on there. There's gotta be some kind of a word for it other than like nubs. Uh, um, but it's just not coming to mind. Here we go, I see this. So we still got the little uh, thing for Pomeranian's thing, but somehow it came off there. I don't know, maybe it wasn't correctly attached to the safety pin. When I say thing for the thing, very specific, right? I feel like a Smurf uh, trying to, to talk about things. Um, all right, let's see here. <clears throat> that scene where Johan is trying to understand what the word Smurf means. Johan, is that his name? Man, where did I pull that from? I thought about the Smurfs as anything other than blue in a million years. Uh, Busy Cat, those blankets are beautiful. Thank you so much. The adopters are going to love them. And uh, the carrots, of course, are going to love them. All right. Uh, we'll put that right oop, back here. Although this one, I'm going to label which class it's for because this one is for the puppies. So let's just write that on there before we lose track. That'll do. Oh. Uh, all right. Okay, moving right along, we hope. All right, Dragon Lady. Again, I'm sorry for the, the hastiness in today's mailbag, but I guess uh, I've given plenty of reasons for that. Let's spill that coffee all over. All right, this one says Dragon Lady. Of course, it's from Amazon, so we may have a note or a pile of notes. And the pile of notes say, uh, oh, uh, wand, one for Villa Chalet, Yurt, and Lodge. I see. So we can split those up. Um, good. I, that's, the only, that's the only notes I see, though. Let's just make sure I didn't miss any. Uh, split up the wands. Okay, we can do that. So what we have here are uh, the old style of wands. Oh, there's another note. There we go. There's the rest of the notes. Hang on. I say the old style of wands. Uh, as far as I know, these are still the ones that we prefer. They're like, I don't know, fiberglass or whatever. So they're flexible. We've never broken one. Uh, so they last a long time. And uh, they come with a bunch of fun toys. And you also say for the... 
uh, you say for the townies and the puppies, uh, we have these little tiny uh, Charlie balls are what we call them. So that's also perfect. And those are great toys for uh, kittens and they just, they all have a lot of fun with those. So you're saying split these up for townies and puppies and these are for the uh, townies, right? Was it townies? Yes, so these are for the townies. So we'll put this with the, the River and the Townies box. And, uh, and we'll put this also in the same box, but we'll just make sure uh, it says townies plus puppies on it. Plus puppies. Okay. Toss that over there. Dragon Lady, thank you so much. Those are both uh, real winners. Those wands, like I said, those are the ones that uh, I like, but you can see how much longer they are. So a little harder to stick in your pocket and walk around with, um, but uh, they do last. So, okay, uh, this is one of the group of identical boxes from Lisa for Kittens. So we will open one of them and then we'll just put the rest aside and assume that they're kind of the same, uh, which I think is what Lisa for Kittens had indicated uh, was correct. Yes, Lisa for Kittens. Let's see what we have here. Okay. Oh, wow, this is a very interesting way to ship all these. Uh, they are S-shaped S's. Yes, uh, Wavy, it's just called Trixie Wavy though, is what they call it, Trixie brand Wavy uh, Scratching Wave. All right, well, I mean, you can call it that, why not? So it is, uh, this one's covered in fur, which is a little extra fancy, and then it's got this section here that is uh, very scratchable. So it's a little bit nicer than the one that they're used to, but you know they'll have fun with it. For some reason, such a simple shape, and uh, we have never had a class that didn't like this. It's, it's one of those things that, you know, I, I was just talking about how sometimes you get a toy and none of the cats like it, but then uh, if you keep putting it out, eventually there's a cat that likes it. Uh, this is not like that. The S-shaped S has been a hit for every cat forever, uh, and I don't understand why, but it for sure is. So thank you for uh, sending us a whole bunch of those, which I assume are for endowments, uh, probably for the River Kids, but, uh, of course, I've got uh, you on Discord, so we can make sure I get it right. Uh, and uh, you did send a whole ton of those. I'm assuming one per box. I think this is, well, I don't know. The post office is weird. Uh, it, there may be more of those waiting for us. Um, got something uh, a little sticky here, and I'm just, I, I'm paranoid because we had some cat pee around the house, but that's not what that is uh, there, because um, I would smell it. So, okay. Um, I think the reason that we had a little bit of cat pee happen was because uh, I think Scotty is in heat, and I'm not entirely sure whether she's the one that peed in a few places. I suspect it's her because they were unusual places that we don't normally get pee from Logan. But uh, the other possibility is that it was Logan, and that uh, I've had a theory for a while that one of the things that sets him off is having mom cats in heat around the house. That made me think, um, why didn't we schedule uh, Scotty to go ahead and get her spay, uh, you know, early, uh, which I don't know why we didn't. Um, and uh, I think what we're going to try to do, if I can remember, in the future is just making a policy to schedule all the mom cats that come for their spay when the kittens are six weeks old. Six weeks is old enough that the kittens are definitely weaned uh, and then uh, young enough, uh, early enough that, that maybe we can catch them before they start to go into heat. Although we've had mom cats do it when the kittens are four weeks old, so it's not a guarantee. Uh, but I think it's a pretty good compromise and I, I think that might be the way to go in the future. Anyway, just a thought I had when I was, I was trying to solve this little issue. That's why we have different blankets on the, the uh, chairs behind me because that was one of the targets. Um, uh, and, uh, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, more of the, uh, the new style ball tracks. Who is this? I didn't, I didn't read the address for this one. This is uh, Lisa for Kittens again. Okay, good. So you did send a whole bunch of these for endowments for uh, River and her kids. So we already had one, and this is two more. And let's just check, make sure. Where's... No, 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 with this one. Okay. I guess we got all the notes in that other pile, but that is fine. And some packing material. Okay. But I'm just gonna slip these right back in here and I suspect we'll run across some more of those as we go on. I'm trying not to block that camera, but I feel like I'm doing a really bad job of it. Plus, uh, why don't I put the other camera on here? We could look at the puppies later. Uh, one sec. 
Where is that camera? Uh, there it is. Okay. Cool. So this is clearly another S-shaped S-box, uh, and so are those two. So I'm just going to go, whoop. Oh, nice. Got it right on there. And that brings us to Diane. Oh, DJ. I see. This is DJ, the other DJ. Not my, not my DJ, uh, but DJ who has sent us some things. Diane DJ. So let's go with that. Ooh, and uh, this is another, whoop, I think, case of, no, uh, yes. Yes, it is. Wow. Uh, I haven't seen one that's packaged quite like this. It is Fancy Feast Classic Chicken. You'd think I'd seen every possible way that this is packaged by now, but I've never seen it with the plain cardboard. Uh, but so it is exactly the right thing. Fancy Feast Chicken Classic Pate. Um, exactly the right thing for our kittens. So uh, thank you again. I'm going to put that over here with the other file. So uh, Diane DJ, thank you. These are, these are so handy. Uh, I'm just going to slip this in the other way. They, they put these in there to protect them during shipping, but then they turn out to be good for so many things. I think I've mentioned uh, when we're making kitten litter boxes for the little, like the very baby's first litter box, I tend to use these. And if you cut the plastic off of the cans and then, you know, use all the cans, but you leave the plastic on around the, the box and then it's like a plastic liner that goes between two pieces of cardboard and then it doesn't leak. So if they pee a lot, uh, it doesn't go through to the floor, which is also nice. Uh, they make perfect little uh, baby's first litter boxes. Um, there we go. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, DJ. All right. Uh, this says Lisa Four Kittens. All right. Anybody want to guess what's in this? I have a pretty good guess. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we're on track or not. <clears throat> yes, it is the Magic Cat Flexible Track and Ball Toy. Ooh, but this is red. I didn't know they came in red, uh, and I do know that uh, every segment can be detached, so it would be fun if you had all the time in the world to take it completely apart and then put in like red and blue alternating. Whoa, uh, I don't think I have that much time though. <laughs> uh, these are really fun. Uh, thank you. You did say something in your pile of notes about the red one, didn't you? Let me just take a quick look and see if I see that. Um, Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, without a tag, red magic cat ball. Uh, the last one for a while. They're out of stock. Oh, no. Uh, it, oh, it's for us uh, to use if we do a red-themed room. Oh, that's too nice of you. Wow. Uh, that's perfect, though. So I'm just going to put that right over here for now, and we'll see what happens. There we go. Oh, we got all these. Okay, we're doing we're doing pretty well here. Let me uh, let me go to this pile back here. We're definitely gonna make it in time. I can't waste any of it. So he said definitely. Oh, I just jinxed it. Let's just see here. Snoofing. Uh oh, I, I always get nervous now. See, when we've had a pee incident. Oh. There's definitely something there that you are smelling, but it doesn't look like pee. I think it's just a little bit of some kind of mess. Hmm. So when we've had a pee incident, though, and the way that I found out that we had a pee incident was uh, when Custard comes out, he starts sniffing places, and then I go and I look where he's sniffing, and I'm like, ah, yep, yep, yep. So then after we've had a pee incident, anytime I see a kitten sniff something, I get immediately paranoid. Uh, so that's what that was. Oh, we'll do that right back there, though. Just came with a little bit of mess from the factory. Uh, oh, cloth covered springs from Lisa for kittens for the Townian River endowments. All right. Uh, I just other, I want to see if there's more notes here that tell us anything. Okay, mm cloth covered springs for the Townies endowment. Oh, these are the long ones, like the one that uh, we were playing with upstairs. Yes, there we go. There, just like. Uh, that so this is the same as the one that the uh, that uh, Scotty's kids have upstairs. Oh, what do you think of that? I don't think you guys have one of these, do you? Well, now you're each going to go home with one. And apparently, it's fun. At least as long as I'm making it fly around, it's fun. <laughs> oh, look how cute she is. You guys are all very good at prairie dog, and I saw um, uh, 
bungalow doing that this morning. Uh, I didn't get a uh, photo of it or anything, but very cute. Okay. There we go. Put that right in there. And this also needs to go right in there. Uh, Lisa for kittens, thank you very much. This one is from the underscore kitten who we were just talking about having made all these collars. Ooh, uh, oh, what is this? Is this, huh, I didn't even know they made such a thing. Um, is this for, I thought so. This says, these are to place the blue cheese toys after Scotty's adventures uh, with the toy from the underscore kitten, uh, A-W-A-R, so the underscore kitten. Yeah, uh, Scotty finally tore the little bouncy spring toys out of the cheese upstairs. And I think we've got a couple other toys that use the same things. In fact, one of the things that was in the cheese that she tore up was already itself a replacement that I stole, stole from one of the other toys. So now we have a whole pile of them. Uh, they aren't exactly the same as what was on there, but they're gonna be super fun. Oh, in fact, there's a variety, I didn't realize. Uh, so we have some that are little gray balls and we have some that are feathers, and uh, they all have a little screw on the end so you can screw it right into the cheese uh, or various, I guess, other toys. That's gonna be perfect. Um, I didn't know that these were sold as replacement items, but those should do great. Thank you so much. Uh, that's from the underscore kitten. All right, uh, what else we got here? Oh, these are more arches. All right, the magic arches. Uh, this must be from Lisa for kittens then, right? Now, did I say that already? This box is falling apart. Okay, uh, I'm sure it is. There we go. Uh, yes, Lisa for kittens, perfect, more arches. And uh, I know you said you were gonna send a whole bunch for these kids, so for now, I'm gonna just block this camera. No, nope, we're gonna just push it right past. Uh, 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 maybe. Come on, man, that box, some better days. All right, right on there. And I guess that'll do, whatever. And if, if I know that camera, that camera's broken, the one that's uh, there. Um, so uh, I know if I tap it, there's a chance that it just goes completely out of focus and doesn't come back. And if that happened, I'm sorry. Uh, there's nothing I can do about it at the moment, uh, except keep rolling. So uh, there's two boxes over here that aren't S-shaped S's. Let's grab those. And one that is, we're gonna leave it. Uh, oh, uh, from Karen Sows. Oh, nice. All right. Good to hear from you. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, Amazon gift bag. River and her tiny townies with all the good floof will definitely need a good brush. These work great for my late Mercedes. Uh, these are for their endowments from Karen Sows. Oh, oh, they're individual. I thought it was one bag, but now I see it's actually a pile of bags. And uh, also two slicker brushes. Oh, wow. Uh, so slicker brushes are, of course, the kind of brush that's made to pull hair out. And when I say it like pull hair out, it sounds like a painful thing, but it's not. Um, these are just exactly what I would recommend to anybody to use to, to groom their cat. Uh, they're usually made of wire, and then the fancy ones like these have a little button you can press that ejects the hair. In this case, it's the kind that pulls all the little uh, bristles back in so you can just take the hair off. Um, so that's great. And uh, let's see, is that also what's in the bags? Yes, that's also what's in the bags. So there we go. So this is for River and the kids. And yes, it's just so cute that all of you have sent, or many of you have sent things that are specifically for floof management, which surely is gonna be uh, an issue throughout these kids' lives. Uh, although I have to say, you know, we haven't really groomed River and she is stunning all the time. Or Maggie for that fact. Uh, Maggie, our faculty Maggie, um, not the biggest fan of being groomed by us, but she takes her care of herself and her, her her fur is always like uh, majestic. It's uh, it's fantastic. So, so some some cats really take care of themselves. On the other hand, Eddie, short-haired cat, I've never seen him groom himself. Not that I can think of. I just don't. I don't think he does. Uh, which is probably why we see him shed so much and tend to sometimes smell a little off. Uh, but we love him. He's wonderful. Uh, 
Okay, I'm gonna find a box real quick. Just, just slip these in the size of these. All right, I'm gonna put them right in here. Maybe that's where they came from. I don't know. Perfect. Okay. Oh, I thought she was talking to me. She's not. She's talking to her mom. Okay. Uh, let's see. Here. Just want to take a couple of these things and get them out of the way. We have like three boxes left. So, or maybe less because we have a Chewy box here. We have an Amazon box. This is another one of the S-shaped S boxes. So I can just put this in the pile of uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, I'm pretty sure you said something about the number 14. And I was surprised to not find 14 when I picked these up uh, last week. And then I went back to the post office because they, the, they get on me a little bit now. They're like, hey, I thought you were supposed to come twice a week. And I said, well, I thought Christmas was over. Uh, and they're like, nah, you still get a lot of stuff. So. I have made it a point to go twice a week, which is why I'm so desperate to make sure I get there today, even if we're not going to open this stuff, because they really want me to. Uh, but um, uh, what I was going to say is I did go earlier this week, and they gave me one package, and that was it. They said, that's it. In fact, that's not even what happened. I went to our post office box, and normally there's a yellow note in there that says, you know, we couldn't fit all your mail. And in the post office box was one thing, and then no note. Like, I've never been here and not had the yellow note, but at the old post office, they stopped giving me the yellow note. They're like, we know you're always going to have stuff. Just come in and get it. I'm like, finally, these guys are like, just come and get it. So I went, I'm like, look, I didn't get a note. Uh, can you check box, you know, our box 186 and, and see if there's stuff there waiting for us? And uh, the lady went back and looked and she's like, nope, nothing. So I don't know what that means, um, but there you go. I see people are sending me notes that say time to go. All right, but let's do this. Come on. Let's do this. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay, the knife. Okay, one second here. This just says Kitten Academy. So uh, because I know Chewy doesn't let you leave a note, whoever sent this is going to be a mystery. But if you, oh, if you sent this, let me know. It is a shark-shaped pet bed. It's very cute. It's got these little shark teeth on the front and a shark color with a shark nose and a couple little tiny shark eyes. Uh, that is very cool. Uh, I'm going to put it right back where it came from for now. And the last box says Lisa Four Kittens. Oh, this is probably the rest of the uh, self uh, arch scratchers. So it is, yes. It is. Oh, but one more thing. Oh, what are these? Oh, these are some fun wands. These wands have a little bit of fabric and a little bit of ribbon on them. Exactly the kind of thing that I could see any cat go for, but I, I bet that Ari and uh, uh, Scotty, I think of as being ones that would really enjoy this. So that's really fun too, wow. Um, thank you so much to everybody for everything. I wish I had more time to wrap it up, but I'm getting notes that say wrap it up. So. Uh, that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to do the usual thing and try to put as much of this away as I can before I run to the car to get to the post office in time to not make a liar out of my promise to be there at least twice a week. And uh, um, then, uh, yeah, that's, that's that. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, sorry again for, you know, the, the sort of rushed feeling. I hate to do that. Okay. So this is all stuff that is supposed to be sort of as you see fit or uh, in, you know, generic endowments or for us. And I'm going to put it all in one box with the shark. Shark, don't eat any of this. And then I'll sort through this in a little while when I have time. We made it though, how about that, huh? Yeah. Okay, this too, this can go right in the box, perfect. All that, I'm gonna just put on the kitchen counter for now. And we have cat food. Very important. Together. 
Oh, oh, oh man, that's even heavier altogether. All right. These. Consolidated. Just like so. Perfect. take care of it because I can very easily put it back into a very bad state. I think it's actually helped being sick with, uh, you know, the COVID and, and sort of laid up on DJ's vacation. So I meant I spent a lot of time uh, not working my back as much. So in a way, uh, it helped. Okay, but I don't trust her in the long term, you know. I want to keep an eye on her for a while anyway until I do. I do think River's fine with the faculty unless something sets her off and we just don't know her well enough yet to know what that is. This is very typical, you know. Um, we've had some good luck with mom cats, but uh, even for the good mom cats, you trust first. And considering I've seen her go after Maggie a few times and sort of act like she's going to go after some of the others. Okay, so. Um, oh, well, I'm just wrapping up the mailbag, and I know you want to talk to her, right? So, um, yeah, I think we're all. I'll put the mute on here. No, I can do that. That's fine. Uh, we're, we are done anyway. Oh, oh, are you sure you're okay with that? DJ says she's fine talking to her mom, uh, so, and you guys overhearing, if you do. <laughs> All right, uh, let's get this on. Um, I am going to end the archive right now, though, before I have everything out of the room, so that when I do, I can just run right out the door, all right? So, thank you all very much for everything. You're all wonderfully generous. And uh, I appreciate it so much, and uh, more than me even. I know the kittens appreciate it, and I know that the adopters especially must appreciate having just a, such a, an amazing start with their new kittens. And, um, um, and also, not just an amazing start, but just that, that, the, that knowledge that there's so many people that do care for their kittens. Uh, it's got to be very special. But for now, I'm just going to set a couple of this aside. All right, we're going to do the cameras, archive. Let's do that real quick. We're going to leave a couple of these pieces of paper for these guys to play with. Here. As fun as that is, though, let's put this in inside this. See if you want. Maybe. All right, I know what DJ said, but I am still going to turn the sound off down here for a little bit. Thanks, everybody.